I'm News 6 meteorologist Candace Campos. Still hazy skies in the forecast with air quality issues still a concern once again for tomorrow. That is all associated with uh, wildfire smoke that's happening up in Canada that is being picked up by an area of low pressure out over the Atlantic, streaming in that back here into central Florida. But when it comes to our actual weather forecast, rain chances will be limited. Rain coverage for tomorrow, for instance, only about 30 percent. We're still looking forward to a big front potentially as we head into this weekend. So looking here, kind of the big picture of the smoke and fire, you can see that the kind of the worst of it right now is lingering across the southeast of the country, including big pockets across parts of central Florida. Florida, including Orlando, as well as Brevard County. Air quality issues for today have gone kind of in the unhealthy to sensitive range, and it will start to improve as we head into tomorrow. It won't be as hazy, but do expect if you're one of those that has respiratory issues, you will still kind of uh, sense a little bit of that haze still in the air once again for tomorrow. That strong onshore breeze not only is it bringing in a lot of that haze in the sky, but it's also bringing with it a couple of those fast moving showers. So rain chances for your Wednesday will stay about 30%. You can see clipping parts of our coastline. So the rain chances are a little higher the further clo the closer you are to the coast, a little lower the further inland you go. But of course, any fast moving showers won't last long. They'll kind of come in, come out, and only last about 15 to 20 minutes. Now let's check on that hour by hour for forecast for your Wednesday. 86 will be your high with the haze lingering. A couple of those speedy showers can be ruled out. And as you get results here, the full seven day forecast, we're talking about a big time cool front that's going to be arriving into the area by Saturday. Cooling is down with highs staying in the low 80s, overnight lows in the 60s and some of our northern zones dipping into the 50s.